Good afternoon and welcome. I should make sure I'm plugged in. Yes, I am good. <laughs> welcome to my daily chat. My name, well, before I get to my name and information, this is episode number 497. Closer and closer. And the episode title today is When You Are Working Harder Than Your Date. Dot, dot, dot. Before I jump into that, let me introduce myself. My name is Barry Selby. I am a best selling author. Um, second book came out two days ago, so that's an exciting experience. Um, also a speaker and relationship attraction expert. Let me get that clear. And I help strong, successful for women. I say it again. I help strong, successful women create and find balance in love, life, and business. I'm also a passionate champion for the divine feminine. And every day we'll do these talks called Messages from the Masculine to Inspire the Feminine Heart. And today we're up to number 497. So it's going to be interesting. And the topic today is actually, I saw a post earlier by somebody else, and I forget who it was, unfortunately, so I'll give you that person's props for posting it, but I'll speak from my own experience. And the topic today is when you work harder than your date. And I mean in the sense of when you work harder to appear at the date. I don't mean like career working hard. That's not what I'm talking about here. But I do it, for instance, right now, just to start to lay the groundwork and explain my thoughts. This is going back probably geez, six, seven years. No, 13 Five years ago, I was up in the Bay Area quite a bit. And I remember a friend and I go to dinner quite often. We're up there. We hang out a lot. The no effort man. Yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting to that, Jeannie. You're ahead of me. You're reading my mind. <laughs> um, so my friend and I were out having dinner one night. And we go, there's a place down in San Jose called um, Santana Row. And we, we, there's a, we go down. We, we have this habit. Basically, every other day, every other night, we go down to um, um, the yard house. Went to like the fact the food was good. The beer was okay, but and then there are a lot of beers to choose from. Anyway, not to promote other services. Afterwards, we go for dessert. This little French cafe that was just up Santana Row. It was nice. It was beautifully warm out weather. It was probably September, and we were hanging out just outside. And this happened quite often. We sat outside. We had like you know some pastries, some some espresso, just enjoying the evening, just just chilling out. And when one evening we're sitting out there, and it was a weekend, I think, because it was kind of busy, a lot of people running around, kids running around, I should say. And I saw this couple go by. And they're probably late 20s. They're pretty young. I don't know if they were married or not, but they were a couple, definitely. And I remember it was summer because she was dressed in this beautiful short summer dress, beautiful tanned legs, um, like high-heeled sandals, I think. She had her hair done nicely, carrying a purse. She, I mean, it wasn't, wasn't like overdone. It wasn't, it wasn't like heavy makeup or jewelry or you know um, stockings or that stuff, but it was just very clean and very well-dressed. Her partner, boyfriend, husband, whatever, had flip-flops, torn blue jeans, a white t-shirt, and a baseball cap on backwards. And I got pissed off. I, I mean, it, it just hit me hard. I was like, what am I reacting to? And then I saw it looking at him, just realizing how, as Gina put it, the no effort man. Like, he wasn't putting any effort into his appearance to be next to this beautiful looking woman who may be his wife, I don't know. I didn't see the wedding ring, I didn't notice the wedding ring to see it. But this feeling of imbalance, that's what pissed me off. And in fact, it was the feeling of being out of alignment because, gentlemen who are watching, making an effort for your lady is a key part of having a, a um, appreciation from your lady. I'll put it that way. Because so many people, uh, especially after the first date or the second or third date, or when you're in a relationship, or when you've been married for a year, the, it's like as time goes by, the effort goes down. And that is unfortunate. For me, I believe and this is again, it's my belief, I could be totally wrong, that when you're going out with somebody for a date, especially if you're putting on going out for an evening romantic date, not just for a casual coffee date, because I do recommend coffee dates as a pre-date experience, and that's a different experience, but still, putting the effort in. Seeing people showing up for dates where there's a disparity in how they look, how they appear, how they present themselves, how they put themselves together, is disheartening, frankly. And usually, usually, it's the men who dress less um, refined and efforted than the women. women. I mean, the joke about how, you know, when a man says how long she's going to be, and she says five minutes, you know, it's going to be 30 minutes, is because she's putting effort into her appearance. Women, generally speaking, like to dress up, or at least put the effort in dressing up because they want to make sure that they are, well, actually, no, I don't want to put thoughts in their head. My belief is they dress up to appear at their best for their man or for their date. And it's interesting to watch when men don't do the same. Now, some men do, but it's a sense of like, okay, first date maybe you do, but what about the fifth date? 
What about after you slept together? Because that's another one of those demarcation lines where the um, effort seems to diminish a bit. Sometimes on both sides. But my, my encouragement, invitation is, we seem to have lost touch with the quality of dates that were elegant. The quality of dates, where well, the quality was elegant, where the quality was um, taking pride in your appearance. You know, I mean, just to speak personally, when I go out with friends socially, yeah, most of the time I'm wearing blue jeans, but they're clean blue jeans. They don't have holes in them. They're neat and tidy. I know the fashion maybe they have holes in your jeans. I don't know, but at least clean ones. You know, I, I dress in, I wear dress shirts and and dress shoes because to me that looks nice. If I'm going out during the day casually to go out for coffee with friends, maybe I have sneakers on. But like when I see people show up to dinner with sneakers on, part of me goes, um, excuse me? doesn't matter how much money the cost they cost. I mean, it could be $300 sneakers. It could be yeah, Jordans, whatever. But for me, if you're going out to dress up, and frankly, this is another thing. Okay, this is another one that bugs me a bit. Um, I saw pictures from the, I think it was American Music Awards the other day. Rec- it was recently. And the I know this is pop star stuff, but the fashion choices, most of the men on the red carpet, in the front step and repeat by the press photographers, they were wearing, you know, most, well, actually, be, I should be careful about this. Their, their, offer, their, their choices of outfits were certainly, uh, some of them outlandish. But when I see them choosing to wear what looks like pretty traditional standard looking tuxedos and like black jacket, black pants, even the dress shirt, and then with bright red Converse. I, I mean, it's cute, maybe, but when you're dressing up to present, and maybe I'm, am I getting old now? Maybe I'm getting old school? <laughs> I'm sitting with this, I'm saying that, because maybe it's just that when you're under 30, you don't care anymore, you don't do it the same way. But let me get off that track because that's a whole different argument about fashion and, and looks. Back to the dating conversation because that's where I started and that's where I want to end. I have I have three words for men out there watching when you go on dates. Make the effort. It's that simple. If you're going out on a date with somebody, put yourself together. Yes, take a shower. So, <laughs> hey Ricky get back to dating <laughs> my topic was coming back to dating you know th- these are my my daily talks um there's such a a lack of effort it seems at times when people go on dates mostly again the men when they go into dates the women may put on more effort but the men don't put on more effort and that's that's this disparity that i have an issue with because if women are putting the effort on for you guys to dress up and look nice when you go on dates men put the effort in too it's worth it for them it's worth it for you and your date may go a lot nicer if you dress, not, dress the part. Now, that also includes good manners, um, decent conversation, eating with the mouth closed, all these different things as well. These are very basic stuff I know. But I want to say this part too, which is the recognition that we've come a long way from the old days where it would be you know, dress clothes, where when you went to restaurants, men had to wear jackets, because that was, that was the rules back in the day. And that's a long, way ago, a long time ago now. But my recognition is that the more we step into a place of respecting ourselves to dress up, again, make the effort, and then dress up accordingly when we go on dates, it's more about us feeling comfortable and honoring who we are, honoring who we are, so that we dress the part when we go on dates. I see people who show up on dates and they don't look like they've, well, it may be a fashion thing again, don't even do the hair right. I mean, I don't have to worry about that as much. But the thing is, just just having an appearance that is presentable is sometimes too much effort for some people and that for me doesn't gel it's just like what are you thinking so this is a pet peeve of mine i admit it may be my need just to share this because other people may not care about it but i wanted to say it because it feels like it's something that hasn't been talked about for a while but i did see a friend of mine post a woman post earlier today that she was feeling that tension and that upset not upset wrong word frustration with men not taking care of themselves or dressing the part when they go on dates so i wanted to speak about it um that's really it so ladies if you're going with men who don't make the effort oh this is the piece that was the piece i didn't cover that one okay so getting back to the title of this book <laughs> this whole, whole thing about dress code um when you're working harder than your date because i didn't even cover that one yet so let me put that piece in the table which is when you go on a date with somebody and you're putting more effort into the date than they are meaning that not just you dress the part but that you arrive on time, that you um, 
provide conversational context and you talk and you in, and you initiate if your partner doesn't bring the equality to that they don't bring us a level of investment into the conversation investment into the date investment into being with you you may want to think about changing your choice with this person um, I've watched people uh, um, in a way crucify themselves going with the people who don't put the effort in the other way because the, the, the attraction and the effort is only one-sided because one of these cues is that if you're going out with somebody who is really not putting in the effort into being with you it may not be worth your long-term goals to stay with them just to be clear one of these these might be truth bombs for some people out there but the reason I want to keep saying and I know I've been repeating it is about making the effort it also means that when you go on a date it's not just about dressing up it's about bringing yourself up and forward to be invested in the date to communicate to express to be a participant versus a passenger in the date for some people that's like what <laughs> but it really is time it's time we put dates and I know that this is speaking to a certain generation because some generations don't even talk about this stuff they're the, the um, and it's not even millennials I think maybe younger than millennials who they go they just go hang out they don't even have dates anymore but for those of us who do remember what dating's about <laughs> and going on dates having a willingness to participate fully in the conversation is a key thing thank you Ricky this is very honest and you're making a good point dress well and don't and donate some and donate to something that okay I'm not sure what the ending that was an interesting ending on your maybe it was an auto auto correct um, you know dressing was part of it but also bringing your a game of conversation of your values and humor and joy and expression because if you're on a date it's open the door to something possible that's more than just one time maybe you're going to meet someone who's going to be your partner for the rest of your your life at least for a, a few weeks three months a few years you want to put the effort in up front to present who you really are of course if you're always going to be lazy maybe that's who you need to present <laughs> in which case it's better to do that now and get out of the way that makes a difference in the world yeah oh yes and do something that makes a difference in the world thank you be about something great absolutely Ricky that's why I do these talks all 497 of them so far um, yeah Sunday be number 500 I think it's tomorrow yes Sunday's gonna be number 500 that's a milestone I didn't plan on getting to but that's the way it is well speaking of which this weekend um, for those of you watching my broadcast every day I do usually do them at 5 p.m. Pacific time as a general rule um, I'm going to be I'll, I'll be actually busy this weekend at my friend um, Deborah Kagan's doing her re, uh, mojo recovery weekend for women that I get to be the guest photographer at which is one of my other gifts so my schedule of my talks this weekend may be all over the map I'm gonna try and uh, my intention is gonna be a be, um oh you're in India Wow well thank you I appreciate the love Ricky and have fun in India and, and spread the love and joy that you bring with everywhere you go I'll see you again in Agape in a few weeks baby um, and have fun there um, so this weekend, so just so you know, five, so tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, as in numbers 498, 499, and 500, ta-da, may or may not be at 5 p.m. Pacific time. I won't know exactly what's happening yet based on schedule. I will probably do them later because I'll be actually shooting at those times, but I want to let you know ahead of time of what's happening. And so if you haven't seen my broadcast before, I do this every day, usually at 5 p.m. Pacific time. That will be changing the next three days. Um, always on Facebook Live initially, but also then I put them onto YouTube and my podcast. So where you can find those, um, my archives on Facebook or on my business page, which is barryselby.author. I then repurpose them onto my YouTube channel, which is also Barry Selby. All my social media is Barry Selby. Um, so my channel username is Barry Selby. The playlist on uh, YouTube is Messages from the Masculine. And you can subscribe to my channel and watch those there. Easy to search there, by the way, than it is on Facebook. And I'm also slowly rolling them out onto my podcast. So on iTunes, if you search for Messages from the Masculine, you can find them there. And you can also subscribe and download those in audio format. Um, that is about it, I think. I don't, I don't have any promos or links to share with you, but if you want to check out my other stuff, you can find my stuff, my stuff. My offerings on my Facebook wall are also on my website. My website is barryselby.com, by the way. Um, and I'm curious if you had any thoughts about this. If you've been out on some dates that are really doozies where you had some disparity in your dating matches um i'd be curious to hear from you let me know what, you th what your experiences have been like and what you're looking for with that thank you for watching i will see you again tomorrow sometime not sure when exactly yet and uh, just keep tracking my facebook wall if you don't already have a notification turn on for my facebook lives why not there should be somewhere on this broadcast you can click on be notified when i go live 
That way tomorrow, Saturday and Sunday, you'll know where to go live. All right, thanks for watching. Thanks for being with me. Take care of yourself. I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye.